What's up guys? Deer Hunter DVM coming to you. We're uh, back out with boots on the ground here last day of February, right in the middle of shed season. I want to show you something um, that you that I need to pay attention more to. Um, and I'm, you know, the, the more I, I hunt structure like this, the more I learn about wind current and how it flows. So if you look out here to this point that juts out all the way, that goes straight west, okay? Now follow along with me. I would like to hunt this gap in this grass patch right here. And I've seen a lot of deer moving back and forth kind of in this little CRP spot. Uh, and then that's due north right here. Okay, so this is due north and that's due west. Every time I, um, I try to hunt this on a west wind, it seems like I get real screwbally winds because I've always been on the west side of this contour point. And what you need to do here is watch what your wind does with contour. What that wind's going to do out there in that open field, it's going to come down this point and hit this corner right here. And it's going to swirl right here with a straight west or a northwest. And so if I want to hunt this little gap right here, a west wind with a swirl is going to actually take my scent back out to that, back out to the west. So essentially a west with a swirl here is going to be an east. And it's, it's tricky. You have to float your milkweed and understand what wind does around structured points here. So... What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hang a set right in the end of these little, um, maybe, maybe back up in that edge there where I can see the high ground, but hunt it for a west even though it looks completely backwards because of how that swirl just takes my scent and it comes back out into that field. So um, also here, since that's on a ridge right here, just a little bit of a slope, um, when the thermals... Uh, start to drop and if you don't have a whole lot of wind it'll just drop them right down into this this little spot that you're trying to shoot them from so it's tricky you just got to hunt it on the right wind and the right day uh, and the right temperatures so anyway food for thought uh, let's go find some antlers